Good morning. I'd like to welcome you to worship on this beautiful day, as well as those who continue to faithfully watch us online. I want to share with you that the flowers on the altar table this morning are in honor of Nancy West and Bill West's sister Phyllis Dodds, and, and they're given with love by Bill West. Be sure that you note all of your announcements here on this little insert here and the items for our Thanksgiving boxes. If you were not here, the loaves and fish box is back on the rail in the rear end of the church, and we'll receive those Thanksgiving Sunday? Up until November the 14th. Up okay. to November the 14th. And if you're like me, what you, I do at the end of every day, uh, I just throw my change out of my pocket, and you'll, you'll be surprised how much change you can accumulate. And then I went to where I throw my change, and I have sometimes up to $200 and change where you just throw that change in there and then you add it, add it to that. So you can either give a check for the hot lunch program in Haiti, which is what the loaves and fish boxes are for this year. And also remember that 90% goes forward and 10% of that offering is, it remains here. Also, some have asked about the coats and the uh, 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 gently used coats and stuff. You'll see there, there's a rack already in Heritage Hall. Many coats have been brought already. And then also, you will see these items here. And also note on the back, he was quite active here all during his high school years and junior high years. Ty Cunningham's getting married. And he's married Morgan, and you'll see the invitation that Ty Cunningham's family has sent to the church. If you want to RSVP, you need to RSVP to his wedding there. Uh, and this would be Jimmy and Sandra Gross's uh, grandson is who Ty Cunningham is. But we would all know Ty around here because every year Faye had him play Jesus uh, during Christmas, so you'd remember Ty. And now he's graduated Campbellsville University, as well as Morgan has graduated Campbellsville University, and they're uniting in marriage. So be sure that you, uh, if you want to go to that wedding, be sure that you RSVP. Also today, we ask that you remember David Lindsay and the loss of his grandmother. His grandmother, Miss Viola Lindsay, was 103 years old. And her services will be at the Broadway Chapel, uh, and they will be, uh, visitation is on the 4th from 4 to 8, and then on the 5th from 9 until 11.30 the next day. Also note that Mr. Bill Puckett, who's here with us today, he'll have his back surgery Thursday at Greenview. So let's remember Mr. Bill Puckett. Also, if you look on the prayer list, we finally got the date for Jim and Maxine's daughter, Chris Lowe, who uh, her surgery is scheduled for November the 22nd. So remember them. And also, many of you will know uh, Leon Hines from the Mount Olive at Cumberland Presbyterian Church. He and his wife, Jessie, both have been sick for quite a long time now and have had, and have had round the clock care. Leon died in his services tomorrow uh, at Hardy and Son out on Old Louisville Road. And the service is at four o'clock. Chair Lee, four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Okay. By the way, hopefully you saw from the pictures on the screen yesterday, we had a ton of children here yesterday and adults here and had an awesome time. And uh, so we want to thank our Christian education ministry for the awesome job that they did. Uh, everybody who came had a wonderful time at that event yesterday. And I can say the fellowship hall was full, the classrooms were beautifully decorated, and everybody had a lot of just wholesome fun, okay? Are there other announcements? Yes, Gordon. Oh, Pam, I'm sorry, Pam. Pam, let's remember Pam, the loss of her brother, Roger Bennett. Uh, lives in West Virginia, and Pam will, will be traveling there tomorrow. Sorry about that, Pam, after I just spoke to you about it earlier. Okay? Um, so she shared that with us Wednesday night at Bible study. Okay. Are there others? Be sure that you remember all of those. Also, Rita Stockton. Stop. Scott. Yes, I'm sorry. She, her daughter, Angie, is in her 50s and has been called in. The whole family has been called in. Her, their daughter has been battling cancer, so I ask that you remember the Scott family as well. Sometimes I write it down and still my memory goes AWOL. Okay? Any other announcements? 
as we prepare our hearts for this time of worship, remember that we've been brought to this place, wooed into the presence of God by a loving God. So now let us come and bring our whole self before God's throne of grace into a place of grace, of love, and forgiveness. I invite you at this time to join with me as we worship God in spirit and in truth. Thank you. 